website here. Uh, I have to register. So then you have to find your um, the session you want to look at in Kubios. And um, then export the session. Uh, I always have a hard time finding out where this is. Uh, is it here? No. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, here. Uh, CSV. Uh, yes, allow. Okay, so we have this now. We gotta uh, open this in numbers on your Mac. So the reason that Polar is different than Elite HRV is because Polar H10 does not send RR signals, RR data, so you have to make it and it's not as accurate but you can do it so we can uh, add a column after this and uh, go up here select that command C to copy I oh, know we don't have to do that so you don't have to copy that but we have to do a, a function here so uh, click in this this one and then go up to format as it uh, we have to put in a function. See, I don't do, I don't, I usually use Elite HRV because then you can email it to yourself and open it directly. Um, okay. Where is it? Function. So, here we go. Formula uh, equation, I think. No. Uh, formula. Let's do new formula, I guess. Then just do C. Uh, 60,000. 60,000 uh, divided by C. And do OK. OK. And now that formula is here. You can copy that. Control Command C in your on your Mac. Highlight D, Command V. All right, so this you can just click on these and then hit delete. Okay, now there's another step. You want to copy all these. So Command C and then go to text edit. Text, yeah, text edit. new document right yeah and then we're just gonna command V all of that into this um, text document takes a while because it's uh, this is a long this was like a seven hour recording I think okay and then see how it's in these boxes so we're just going to do I think command A Format, um, make plain text, yes. And that will take a few seconds. Okay, so now we have all of our RR calculations. And if you want, you can get rid of this, these blank spots up here. Then we'll save it. Uh, as we'll just call polar whatever you want to call it h10 to hr to rr uh and then we'll save that somewhere just uh, i have to remember where i save it save as
I don't know where I saved it, so I gotta probably move it somewhere. Where I move it to where? So I'll put it in my little scratch folder, HRV scratch. Move it there. Okay, now we'll go over to Kubios. Kubios HRV. This is the standard 3.4. Just downloaded this yesterday. I tried to um, open up the CSV file directly, and you can do that with premium, but you can't do that with standard. Close this just in case. It takes a while to load for some reason. It always does, it always takes a while to load. And it's probably going to load a session I did yesterday. So. Because I ran this data yesterday, but I'll show you. So just open, and then we find this. Uh, select our 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 uh, text file. Open. And then it's probably going to ask us to can. Okay, maybe it's going to. Okay, so it's. So usually, it, in the old version, it asked you if it was RR data. This one, it's just recognizing it automatically. So, okay, so it's open now in the 3.4 version. Um, but the thing is, and I'm not sure how to avoid this because I've seen it in Elite HRV as well, but this is a longer recording than four hours. So I don't know why it's getting crunched. I think the RR is, you know, Per second or is the total time based on the RR data but these measurements were taken over seconds I guess so this recording is almost half as this day is almost half as long as the recording anyway you know how to do this RR up here you want to look at so this is the whole day this is when I was very active and then taking a uh, you know, more active here, taking a break, active break, and then this is had like sort of heat exhaustion around here, and then recovered, and then was it sort of dizzy here, and then all of a sudden was finally able to get cool, and then this is where I started to feel better, right around there. Um, but again, this is all crunched together, and I know you know about these windows. Um, so you can do multiple of these down here. Start length, this is five minutes. Or you can duplicate and then you know move it to say someplace higher, right? And then if you want to do that side by side, so we don't do time during we can click on time domain and compare the samples. Sample one. To sample two, so yeah, sample one. SDNN is in the trash <laughs> because my heart rate was so high. And then you know, over here, down to 90 beats per minute. So, and then frequency domain comparison. None of this is good. I mean, it was just exhausted. But that's the basics. Uh, and that's how I do it. But again, I don't. There's stuff I don't know how to do. I don't know how accurate using that formula is, sixty thousand. But I've read that 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 works. Uh, and I also haven't figured out why that data gets clipped uh, or or gets spread over a shorter period. Um, but and I'm not a hundred percent sure what's different about three point four other than. This looks different. Um, and then you you know you've got the up here the PDF uh, breakdown. It will do all your samples if you have samples. So 
gives you the RR series. And this could be, I think if you have HR selected, this will be HR instead of RR. So if we do like HR here instead, I just want to double check for my own sake because I'm still trying to figure all this out. It's a little slow. Yeah, so here you can see the heart rate and then down here you can see in this sample the RR series um, and then the analysis and you can check out the second sample. And I notice this this thing slows down when I do a lot of different samples. Um, but you know, hoping to be able to do a 24 hour recording at some point. And I haven't been able to find devices. I, I could probably do it with Polar, but again, it's not going to be, if I dump it out of Polar, it's not going to be 24 hours. It's going to get condensed. So it's, it's been challenging to try to figure out how to do 24 hours, but um, okay. All right, I think that's it. Okay. Um, I didn't delete the old version, so I still have the old version on here. Um, so that's just another thing you want to make sure that you're not opening the old version if you have the old version. I think that's it.